Hello, everybody. Yes, it's me again, gamer number 98. And this is Super Paper Mario. Now, before we continue, I want to show off a little secret. That can be used to somewhere we'll be going past in order to get to the next chapter. Over here. Uh, it's not over there. I mean, I don't know. I don't think many people know about this, but if you point your remote on the screen on this platform, you can start uncovering invisible platforms that gradually go higher and higher up into the sky. I mean, I discovered this completely by accident first time round, and I thought I'd just show it. Just keep repeating until you get further and further up. Don't fall. And we got a treasure chest. And there's a DS game. No, it's a cooking disc too. Uh. So yeah, there's several of these things hidden in the game. I haven't managed to find all of them. But that's where one of them is. They basically reveal more recipes. Uh, you know that um, chef. Well, we'll be going past her place in a little moment, so I'll show you there. Meanwhile, we gotta find the next heart pillar, and we need Fudley for it. And over here we've got some pegs and we need to have them in a certain sequence. Okay, so that one is to be down. Yeah, when you pound an already pounded thing, that's already... I don't know. It just <laughs> somehow comes back up again. And that will make a, p a heart pillar appear. And that unlocks the door to chapter 4. And that rhymes. And I don't really like this upcoming chapter that much. I, I just don't. It just doesn't work too well. <sighs> That's what I get for dissing the game now. Gotta be careful what you say. So let's head up there immediately. I mean, it looks like nothing's going to stop us. Nothing at all. Because what are the odds that something will go wrong behind that green door? Through the fierce battle against Francis, Mario, Tippy, and the Mario Gang grew closer. Behind the fourth door lay a whole new world that revoked them all. What awaited, what awaited was vaster and stranger than anything they'd encountered before. In order to claim the pure heart, they would have to ensure new, far-out trials. Chapter four slash one. It into outer space. Yep, that's where I. That's where the next door takes us. And here's a little known fact: the background is actually the same as the inside of Count Black's cloak. Yeah, it says to go look it up. It's almost the same. Hmm, stars everywhere. I believe we're in outer space. Almost certainly. Well, where else would we be? Huh? What? What troubles you, Mario? 
Ah, yes, of course. We seem to be lacking air. You need that, don't you? How come you're perfectly fine, you little hacks? And you too, Fudley. Oh, oh, gracious me. What am I to do? Um, well, let me see. Uh, uh, uh well, then, um, uh, well, so, but, uh, no! Whoa. Somebody led us out. But, who? Hey, please, wake up. Why does she always dot 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 every time she speaks? At least it's better than being, you know, noisy like a certain other fairy. I don't really know how I got us all out here. I just, it just saw it happened. We won't last out there as we are. Perhaps we should get Merlon's advice. Yep, gotta see Merlon. Because we're stuck. Frankly, we're very stuck. But that's what I don't get. You can't breathe in space, and yet in Mario Galaxy you can breathe just fine, and that and this game came out before that. Then again, in Mar Super Mario Land 2, Mario needed a space suit when he went into space. Ho oh, ho, that was certainly quick work. You already found an XP heart. Uh, no. Dude, doesn't take that long. That door led us into outer space. Space? Oh, I imagine that was an unwelcome surprise. Too bad you have to do it again in the future. Yes, there was no air, so Mario and his friends couldn't breathe. What do we do? Hmm. Well, if you had a space helmet, you would be alright, I imagine. And... You have one? Of course, I don't have one. But I imagine that even something like a space helmet would suffice. Hmm, and I just happen to. Oh, blast it! What now? Oh, double blast it on! Drat and double drat! I cleaned out my shelves the other day! Yes, I had the perfect thing! But I was making space, and I gave it to someone in town! To who? Oh, just some random boy. He seemed more convenient than recycling it. Seemed more convenient. You must find that boy and explain the situation. Get it back from him. Yes. Steal it from him! In all... It's all full of light Brunosicus. Now that boy just happens to be on the second floor. So we just need to take the lift. This one. And he's over here. Huh? Did Merlon give me something like a helmet? You mean this fishbowl? Yeah, I kept Captain Gills here in a cup. And then he got too big for it. Yeah, that's why I got real happy when I got this fishbowl. Thing is, now the captain got so big the bowl got too small for him. Hey, I know. Maybe you could find a nice place to set Captain Gills free for me. Captain deserves freedom. Then you get the fishbowl. That's good, huh? Hmm. But where can he go? I want to know that he'll be nearby at all times. You've got to help me! And he just magically grew arms to give us the fishbowl. And then he disappeared. Okay, first we can't breathe in space and yet in a later release we can. And now they end up actually having arms. That's a little thing called... Well, you already know what that is. It's Nintendo logic. Nothing more. Nothing less. So anyway, like I said, we were passing that chef's house in order to get Captain Gills free. We'll just get rid of this uh, DS game. And look over there. Yay, Nintendo. Doing what you do best. Advertising your products in other games. Your own games, of course. You can even use it. Get information. 
clear, that's clear, clear. Unlike in the previous Paper Mario games where you had no clue what what you had to use to make specific recipes, this one is kinder and lets you do that. You have cooking disc too, use it to increase the data in my bed. Use it, yep. So you got all this stuff now. Not really gonna get into recipes though. I mean, I never could get all of them, not even in the thousand year door. I mean, it was like, you know, like, uh, what do I do? How do I do this? How do I do that? And everything else. If I remember correctly, there was a nice little wrong place, but there is something here that I will come back to later, but not now. Maybe post-game. Okay, here's the place we release Captain Gills into this stream. Now the fishbowl is empty. That means you can use it as a space helmet. It's even got its own tiny little round antenna on it. Ah, oh, ain't that sweet. Now we can go from space. So we're going back up to the top and I missed something. No, that doesn't matter now. I don't think that can be done yet anyway. Not perfectly sure. Doesn't matter. Okay. Uh just let me double check. Yep. Let's just save real quick. Uh, 11 minutes into recording. Still got a few extra minutes I can fit in. <sighs> so back through we go. Yeah, we've seen this before. Me, I cannot breathe. Want to use the helmet? No. It's dangerous to head into space all willy nilly, you know. Please put the helmet on. Okay, okay. I wear the stinking helmet. I lied when I said it was cute. Besides, it would lead me to a game over eventually if I kept refusing over and over. So now we can breathe just fine. Upset. How is there air in that thing exactly? It's not like it's got unlimited supply. So now we just go. Lazily wander around space. And oh look, sauce is floating through space. I wonder where it's coming from. Hey, there's something here. It's sparkly. It's a pod. There's something here. What in the world is this? Why is this hidden here? It's not so hidden now, is it? So that's where the sauce is coming from. <laughs> 